Welcome to Street Smart. Now, as you may know, I've traveled every turnpike from Tucson to Times Square looking for average men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got their head on straight and who's a headstone short of a cemetery. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Nicholas. Yo, what's going on? Nicholas. And the lovely Heidi. We got Heidi too, Heidi. Now remember, it's all or nothing on street smarts. That means the winner makes the grade and the loser won't get paid. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began in the Big Apple where I met Michelle and went straight for her sensitive spot. Michelle, where are you from? I am from the Bronx, baby! So Michelle, you're going to school I'm to be a mortician. To, I'm going to school to be a mortician. What are your turn-ons? If you start like kissing on my neck and I've got like this really sensitive spot here, my belly ring, it's all over. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Michelle, what three words describe you? Insane, impulsive, and crazy. Crazy. <laughs> hey. uh, that was Michelle. Okay. And in St. Paul, Minnesota, Dennis surprised me with something he did on the radio. What's the highest level of education you completed? College. And what do you do now? Right now I work in, uh, with the Toro company. Okay, and you're looking to do what? Uh, sell lawnmowers the rest of my life. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Anybody need a lawnmower? <laughs> so Dennis, tell me your, uh, your one drunk story there. Well, one night we were <laughs> drinking a lot of beers and I passed out up in my room. Mm -hmm. And according to my buddy, I woke up and started uh, peeing all over the radio. He's just like, what are you doing? I was like, don't worry about it. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. And finally, Omar told me what's happening. So who were some of your idols growing up? Idols, definitely Michael Jordan, because you know, he's from Chicago and so am I. Oh, you're originally from Chicago? Yeah, that's where I was okay. born. And, and what brings you out here to Frisco? Um, I just came just to see what was happening, I guess. And there's a lot of things happening. It's like, almost like the city that don't sleep. What three words best describe you? <laughs> Nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble? That's okay. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one more. Okay guys, it's time to play a little game we like to call, Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is a guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Okay, guys? So, yeah, let's get busy. Here we go. Here's the first question I asked to Michelle, Dennis, and Omar. Why wouldn't a cadaver make a good dance instructor? So flip up your paddles, tell me who knew that one, guys. Why wouldn't a cadaver make a good dance instructor? Was it Michelle, Dennis, or Omar? All right, Nicholas is on a roll over here. All right, okay. All right, you guys are, uh, you're both locked in. You think uh, we got Michelle, we got Omar. Now, Nicholas, you think Michelle's gonna pull through for you on this one, huh? Yeah, I think Michelle got it, because she's like into that sexy kind of like kissing thing. I think right. she's got some dancing moves going okay. on. Okay, all right, too. let's see if we can get you 100 bucks in an early lead. Why wouldn't a cadaver make a good dance instructor? Because they're dead. Right. <laughs> they're lying flat. <laughs> That's the right answer. Way to go, Nicholas. Yeah! They're dead. They can't dance. 100 bucks for you. Nice yeah! job. Now, listen, Heidi, we're going to see if Omar also okay. knew it. Let's see. Why wouldn't a cadaver make a good dance instructor? Because he don't have legs. He can't dance. Why? Because what's a cadaver? Someone without legs. Someone without legs. Pretty much. Like in a wheelchair or something? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of sad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Heidi. That's a wrong answer. Omar did not know that. Can't give you 100 bucks on that. So uh, we're going to move on to question two. Maybe you can tie it up that way. OK. <laughs> a little sympathy from the crowd. All right, here's question two, guys. In what city was the Berlin Wall erected? So who knew it? Do you think it was Michelle, Dennis, or Omar? You can tell me where the Berlin Wall was erected. Ooh. Nicholas just loves a flip in the... Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, you're both locked in. You both think Michelle knows. All right, now before I, uh, before I see if uh, Michelle got this right for you guys, uh, we're going to check in with Dennis, see what he had to say for fun. In what city was the Berlin Wall erected? Germany. What, what was this? It was uh, the city, though? Oh, I don't even... Uh, Jer Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Germany? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Dennis. All right, now, Heidi, you think Michelle's going to know the answer, right? Yes. You okay? I do, because yeah. Omar kind of dissed me before. He's okay. my Chicago boy. So we're going to go with your girl. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get you both 100 bucks here. In what city was the Berlin Wall erected? Germany. In Germany. Yugoslavia? Germany, Yugoslavia? <laughs> or? <laughs> Germany. Okay. Okay, that's a wrong answer, you guys. I'm sorry, you both have Michelle. I asked what city, the correct answer, uh, Omar's gonna tell us what it is. In what city was the Berlin Wall erected? Oh, okay, hold on, it's not China. It's not China. Okay, okay, Berlin Wall, Berlin, in Berlin. There you go, it's Berlin, folks. Omar's the one who knew it. We needed the city. Okay, sometimes the answer's right there in the question. Okay, last question of the round, guys. Heidi, we're gonna see if we can get you on the board here. Nicholas has got 100 bucks. 
I asked all three of them, how did the Judds get the name for their group? So what do you think? <laughs> Who knew that one? Michelle, Dennis, or Omar? Man. And I had a feeling Nicholas would feverishly twist the paddle. All right. Okay. All right. And, and Heidi, you ready? You guys are yeah. you're both locked yeah. in? I'm locked Okay. Now, you think Omar's going to come through I'm for you, Heidi? I'm going to go back with him. Going back with yeah, Omar. He knew, right. He knew the last one. Let's see if he knows this yeah. one. How did the Judds get the name for their group? The Judds. I think they all had some pretty big jugs. They had some good jugs. <laughs> yeah. They call themselves the Judds. I'm sorry, Heidi. That's the wrong answer. You still got no money here. Now, Nicholas, you think Dennis knows this time? Yeah, I think he's into pretty girls. There's some pretty Judds out there. All right, let's check it out. How did the Judds get the name for their group? Because they're Jugs. Right. And who are the Judds? Are they, are they good looking? Country, uh, sing, uh, I think the younger ones look good looking. But well, actually, mom. you know, the one sister is their sister that's not in the group, Ashley Judd. Yeah, she's really hot. She's hot. Yeah. And does she have nice Judds? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nicholas Dennis did not know the answer either. The correct answer, we're gonna go to Michelle. She knew it. How did the Judds get the name for their group? That's their last name. That's their last name, very good. That's their last name. Do you like the Judds? No, I don't. Why not? Because they whine so much. She stole my dog, she took my truck. Right, not your thing. She took my man. Uh, no. Who do you like to listen to? Everybody except country. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. The Judds, it's her last name. All right, let's recap our scores. Heidi, you have no money right now. That's okay, don't worry, it's early. Nicholas has got 100 bucks, so we did okay. All right, guys, keep your fanny on the furniture because we're gonna come back and see who blew it when we return. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now, we have Nicholas here. Now, Nicholas, I understand you have one leg up on uh, any aspiring contortionists. What yeah, sorry, let mean? me show you that leg up. Uh-oh, oh, 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 God. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm Greg, stuck, actually. You're stuck. Uh, Heidi, a little help Heidi, here. Heidi, you want to help uh, him there? Okay. Heidi, could you just... A little Sorry. help? Heidi, does it just I help? guess not. Nicholas, you're on your own. That's going to be... <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. All right, now, Heidi. <laughs> now, Heidi, I don't know if this is true or not, but... They tell me you have a, a crush on a celebrity. Uh, I, I do, in fact, Frank. I, I have a thing for game show hosts. Right, okay. I actually get to meet him right now. Oh, get out of here. I know. No, I know this is the staff putting one on me. Well, thank you very much for both being here. You look great. Have fun. Nicholas, you got an early lead. But Heidi, we can win you some money, all yes. right? And the we reason shall. is, <laughs> it's time to get down and dirty as we start our next round. Who blew it? This time we ask the same questions. Only two of our neighborhood know it all. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now, each time Nicholas or Heidi correctly identifies who tanked the question, they get $200. Yeah. Yeah. Now, remember, guys, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will befuddle your opponent, bang the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't annoy me by banging on it twice. Okay? <laughs> All right, here's the first question I asked to both Michelle and to Dennis. I asked both of them, how many watts are in a kilowatt? Oh my God, Heidi, you've been dunced already. Nicholas, throw it up there. $200 on the line. Heidi, if you answer this correctly, the 200 bucks is yours. If you miss it, it's gonna go to Nicholas, all right? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read it again. Okay. You got five seconds. How many watts are in a kilowatt? Would it be a thousand? It's the right answer, way to go, Heidi. $200 for you, you take the lead. Throw that cap on Nicholas, thinking you wouldn't know that. All right, guys, so flip up your paddles now. Go ahead and flip up your paddles. Flip it up. There you go. Flip up your pedals. Let me know who blew it, guys. Do you think it was uh, Michelle or Dennis? So what do you think there? Heidi, you got the lead. And I, I was going to make that happen since you have a crush on me anyway. Okay. All right. You're both locked in. Uh, you think Dennis blew this, huh? Yeah. Nicholas? Dennis went to college, but he didn't go to college. All right. Let's see if he blew it for both of you. <laughs> How many watts are in a kilowatt? 1,000. 1,000? You know what? You're the first person ever to get that question right. Thank you. I'm sorry, you guys, you both had Dennis. He got that right. That is the correct answer uh, for a wrong answer. Let's check out Michelle. How many watts are in a kilowatt? 96. 96. 96, yeah. <laughs> All right, see, Michelle's on the book. <laughs> All right, here's the next question I asked to both Michelle and Omar this time. I asked both of them, what kind of food does Friskies make? So who blew it? Who did not know that one, guys? Do you think it was Michelle or Omar? Couldn't tell me that one. <laughs> Nicholas has sound effects now, too. <laughs> Strangely enough, when the leg went behind the head, nothing. But okay, you guys are both locked in. You split the decision on this one now. Nicholas, you think Michelle blew it, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, she's like Dirks of the Dead. I don't think she knows much okay. about food. <laughs> okay, Nicholas, let's see if Michelle blew it for 200 bucks. What kind of food does Friskies make? Cat food. Cat food, there you go. Do you have a cat? No, but can I pour on your lap? 
Yes. Nicholas, that's a correct answer. I'm sorry, she did not blow that. Sorry about that, buddy. It looks like Omar's the one who blew it for you, Heidi. Let's check it out. What kind of food does Friskies make? They make clam chowder in in sourdough bread. Actually, they make cat food. Oh yeah, that too. There you go, we blew it. Way to go, Heidi. $200 for you. Take you the corner, the corner, bucks. Way to go. Nicholas, you're still stuck on 100 here, buddy. Here's the last question of the round. This is to Dennis and Omar. It's the guy's turn here. I asked both of them, what science studies the planets and other celestial bodies in outer space? So who did not know that one? Who blew it? Oh, you think it was Dennis or Omar? Couldn't tell me the answer to that one. Heidi vaults into the lead here. She's got 400 bucks. And okay, you guys are both locked in. You're both thinking Dennis. Heidi, you don't think he knows this one? I, again, he went to school, but he's spent his time pissing on bed, so I don't know. <laughs> the radio. Let's find out if you can. What science studies the planets and other celestial bodies in outer space? Astronomy. You an astronomy guy? C+. Plus. <laughs> Name two constellations. Constellations, third place and fourth place. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You both got Dennis, you got that right. Astronomy is the right answer. Uh, for a wrong answer, Omar had it wrong. Let's find out. What science studies planets and other celestial bodies in outer space? Political science. Political science? Yeah, we'll say that. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. Omar had that one wrong. Let's recap the scores for Nicholas. You got a hundred bucks, just like after round one, I know. But Heidi got four hundred dollars this round. She has the lead now with that four hundred bucks. Now that our players think they know these thoroughbreds, we'll see who they choose to ride when we return. Welcome back. It's time to crack the whip as we start our next round. Pick your pony. This time, Nicholas and Heidi will each choose one of the three brainy Broncos for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Yeah, and we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round. Can only be used once and it's worth another 300 bones. Now the player who is trailing chooses first. Nicholas, that's you. So who would you like to pony up with? I'm gonna pick Michelle. You're gonna go with Michelle? Yes. Okay, very nice. Now Heidi, how about you? I'm gonna pick Dennis. You're gonna go with Dennis? Was that an impersonation of Dennis? It is. Okay, all right. Wish you would've chose Omar. I would've liked to hear that. All right, okay. All right, here we go, Nicholas. First question to uh, Michelle. And you're, you're trailing by 300 bucks here. You can tie it up with the correct prediction. Okay. I asked Michelle, if a man is gripping a woman's frock, what is he holding on to? I think, so, that, oh, I think she got yeah. it wrong. You think she got it wrong? Yes, she got it wrong. Right. She doesn't know anything about frocks. For a tie game, let's see if she got it wrong. If a man is gripping a woman's frock, what is he holding on to? That would be her, uh, her butt cheeks. Her butt cheeks. You like when a guy grabs onto your frock? Baby, you can grab all my frocks anytime. <laughs> oh my god. She got it wrong. Way to go, Nicholas. You're up to 400 bucks. Um, the correct answer if a man is gripping a woman's frock. Do you know the answer by any chance what a frock is? Is it like a shawl? Uh, a dress or a smock. Okay. Okay, yeah, Heidi, you should have danced on that. Yeah, all right. Okay, here, Heidi, here's your first question to Dennis. I asked him, which two words are combined to create the word smog? Oh, oh she did dance. Nicholas, you've been done for Heidi. $300 on the line. If you get this right, the money's yours. If you miss it, it's going to go to Heidi. I'm going to read it again. You got five seconds to answer the question. Which two words are combined to create the word smog? Is it smoke and fog? The correct answer, Nicholas. Way to go, Heidi. You're spinning the cap. I'm sorry. The 300 bucks goes to Nicholas. Wow. Now, Heidi, the no. question was to Dennis. You got to right. tell me if Dennis got it right or wrong. Does this look okay? It looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think Dennis got it right or wrong? I think he got it wrong. Okay, if that's correct, you'll have, a, you'll have a tie game here. Let's find out. Which two words are combined to create the word smog? Smart frog. Smart frog? Yeah. That would be a wrong answer. Way to go, Heidi. You're up to start our lunch. We got a tie game. All right. Here's the next question, Nicholas, to Michelle. I asked Michelle, what animal does a veal chop come from? You think she got that right or wrong, Nicholas? She got that right. She got this one she right. She can eat. Okay, she yeah. can eat. Oh, geez. All right. Let's see if you can three her bugs oh. here. What animal does a veal chop come from? A little baby lamb. Oh, it's even... You bastard! I didn't say it! A baby cow. They're still babies. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Nicholas. Right. She got that. She got that wrong. It is uh, calves or baby cows. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. lambs. Okay, Heidi. Here's the next question to Dennis for you. Columbus was credited with discovering America. What was his first name? <laughs> you already going wrong. 
What was his first name? What was his first name? You think he got that right? I wrong? am going to say, no, I'm going to say wrong. You're going to go with wrong? He's looking at the movies walking by. He's not paying attention. <laughs> Columbus was credited with discovering America. What was his first name? Christopher. Christopher Klein. He discovered America when? 1609. 1609. Found America. Yep. <laughs> he got that right. I'm sorry, Heidi. He knew it was Christopher. Way off on the year, 1492. Okay. But Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys both missed on that last one. Here we go. One more for each of you in this round before the wager of death. Now, uh, Nicholas, I asked Michelle. Uh, actually, I showed Michelle this card, and I asked her to pronounce this and use it in a sentence. Do you think she could do that? What do you think, Nicholas? No, she did not get it. She couldn't do it? All right, let's see if we can get you up to a thousand bucks. Let's find out. Michelle, pronounce this and use it in a sentence. Okay. Dog Pernon. Pernon. Dom, Dom Perignon. Oh, there you go. Use yeah. that in a sentence now. Yeah. The night I went to my prom, I was drinking Dom Perignon and lost my virginity and woke up the next morning in some dude's bed. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't your date? No. Oh, some other guy at the prom? Oh, damn. Who's the guy you dogged out? Who was the date? Richie, you suck! Look at me! I'm on TV! <laughs> I'm sorry, she got that right, Nicholas. She knew, Dom Perignon. All right, now, Heidi, this is the last question of the round, and it's to you. You okay. can take the lead going into the wager of death. This is okay. big. I asked Dennis, what's a safe cracker? Do you think he got that right or wrong? <laughs> I'm thinking something. Okay. I think he got it wrong. You don't want to share with the crowd what you were thinking? <laughs> okay. okay. All, right. All right, you think he got it wrong? Let's find out. What's a safe cracker? Safe white boy. <laughs> right, a cracker being white boy. Yeah. I'd say he's safe. Yeah, yeah. That's the wrong answer, Heidi. You get the 300 bucks. Nice job. Uh, the correct answer, a person who breaks into safes to steal from them. You know, listen to the tumblers. Ah. All right, let's recap the scores. Nicholas, you got 700 bucks. All right, you made 600 that round. But Heidi's up to $1,000. She's got the lead. Now, when we return, Nicholas and Heidi will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Michelle, Dennis, and Omar. I asked them, in what famous stadium were Christians fed to the Lions? Stay tuned, because one of our players will bite the dust in our final round. The wager Don't go away. You got to see this. Welcome back. Nicholas and Heidi, here's what's cracking. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Now, Nicholas, you got 700 bucks, yes. but Heidi's got $1,000. Yeah. Now, remember, when the winner goes home with a big fat check, which means it all comes down to this final question. Right. And here's the question I asked to Michelle, Dennis, and Omar. In what famous stadium were Christians fed to the lions? Okay, now Nicholas, we're gonna get your choice right now. You're only trying okay. by 300 bucks, so whose clip do you wanna see? I'm gonna see Dennis's. You're gonna go with Dennis? All right, now Heidi, how about you? You got a little lead here. Got that last question in the last round, right? You also go with Dennis. All right, well, nobody picked Michelle and Omar. We're gonna say bye to them. All right, all the money rides on one last clip for the show. Let's check it out. In what famous stadium were the Christians fed to the Lions? Turner Field. Turner Field? Yep. Okay, that is a wrong answer, you guys. The correct answer, the Roman Colosseum. All right, now, Nicholas, you had Dennis. He got it wrong. You're trailing right now. Did you say you'd get it wrong? I said he got it wrong. You said wrong. Nice job, Nicholas. How much did you wager of your 700 bucks and add your total? All of it. He went for all of it. All right, $1,400. You are now in the lead. Heidi, you are trailing now. But you also had Dennis. He got it wrong. What did you say? You said he'd get it wrong. Now, Heidi, you had to wager more than 400 bucks to win. What did you wager that grand? She went with $999, takes her to $19.99. Heidi is 